So he declared the colonists could only get their tea from one company. The way he would, that way he was sure he would get his tax money, or so he thought. Well, Masters Revere, Adams, and the Sons of Liberty showed him. The first time he sent the one company's tea over, they decided to have a party, a Boston tea party. Dressed as Indians, they boarded the ships from one, from the one company and threw 90,000 pounds of British tea into the Boston Harbor. Take that, King George. Have a little salt with your tea. You can have your taxes, you can have your salty tea, but you don't own me. Henceforth, George, you can take your red coats, your castles, your taxes, and your tea and stick them in your royal ear. Again, colonists dump King George's tea during the Boston Tea Party. Hip, hip. Off to our next session. 